Okay, so hi. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a um, stopwatch like on App Lab on code.org. So what? So so this is how this is how my uh, other stopwatch looks like. This is it's a stopwatch time zero. So when you run it and then press start, it, it starts. And then it, it can go infinitely until the number reaches the edge of this phone. So when it reaches the edge of the phone, it'll automatically stop. And that'll be a lot. And when I stop it, the number will stop. And when I press start again, it will restart. So when I press reset, it will reset. So I'm today I'll show you how to make this. And this is all the code you have, you need. And these are all the words you need. And, and yeah, so first you start designing. I'll show you the design. So if you start on code, usually you start on code, but you might just start on design or data. So first, uh, go to design, and then you see this button right here? Drag two of these buttons here. Your buttons might look a little different, and I'll show you how to make them exactly the same as mine if you want exactly the same. So I'm going to make this them closer and equal. And for this one, I'm going to click on it. It says button one, right? So I'm gonna delete the text of button one and click on the text button. And then what you have to do is write start like that. And then when it's on start, you could see the width and the height. If you want it to be a circle, you make this 100. And then down here, border radius, border radius make that 100 and it's exactly a circle as you can see do the same thing but i won't i don't really want circle i want a rectangle so if you if it yours is like a square then you just change your height to um 50 again or it used to be 40 and then do the i'm going to do the same thing to the other button so what all i'm going to do is change this to from four to down and uh, for the same thing for this button, it's just like that. Okay, and then, so that's how these buttons are. And then we had to rename this button to stop or whatever you want to rename it. I renamed my other one to stop, so I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm gonna send, okay, so, you see, you can also change the background color. Like I'm gonna change the my start to uh, green, like this color green. And if you want blue, this is kind. Of, you go into the middle of dark blue and bright blue. And then I, I like to choose this color for blue, but I'm not gonna choose it right now. Yeah, so that's green. And then for the stop, I'm gonna color that red, which is good. And then. And then um, you can also change the font. I like stop like this, but I'll rather have it normal. You can, yeah, actually that one, nah, I don't like it normal, like normal, but a rile is like that. Well, I'm gonna use a rile black and yours can be 13 or 15 or whatever, but I'll do 20, yeah, 22 kind of like fills it good. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this, make it 22. And yeah, so it's like this. And you see, if you scroll the way ab above, there's a button ID. And for the ID, uh, I would choose start underscore button, button. And then for the stop button, uh, it's a button two, and I'll do but um, stop underscore button. Okay, so start and stop, 
And of course, we're going to need two labels for the for this one. I'm going to click. Uh, I'm going to change the name of this one to. Uh, uh, let's do. Seconds, seconds seconds time or seconds and then colon and then zero like this and of course uh, I'm gonna make it a little more sec securely tight so nothing happens to it This is so hard to make smaller. Like, it's too small. Okay, whatever. So, make sure to make this bigger. Really? Oh my god, this is so... There we go. Make it really bigger. And then make the font size uh, make maybe 22 too. Now, nah, let's give it like 30. Yeah, 30 is good. And then, uh, how do we make it bigger? God. And then I'll make it. Oh, that's how you do it? Okay, so I'll make this uh, the color black. Like this. Why is it not changing? Black. Is this black? No, it looks more. Looks great to me. Really? Okay, I'm glitching. Okay, I'm gonna refresh, and then when it turns black, I'll resume. Okay, it finally decided to listen to me, and I'm also gonna make this one bigger. And, and see this text here? I'm gonna make that much bigger and write stop watching it and after that's done uh there and then in the text write stop watch why do I spell it wrong stop watch and then hopefully this will also turn what okay good what Wait, I can't turn it red either. What? Okay, I'm gonna have to refresh again. Is it good now? Mm. And will it listen? No. Will it? Okay, maybe I just scroll down this time. Mm. Yay, listen! Now, now to make it much bigger than that. All I do is click on this, and then it's 13. Well, I'll make it 40. Oh my god, make it 45. Make it much. More. That's fine, and that's good. And and stop watch. There we go. And that, let's enter that. Good. So I'm just gonna make this a little more in the middle. So, as you can see, uh, I'm finally done with this. And when we press run, we can press start. Nothing will happen. We can press stop. Nothing will happen. And we can reset it. And nothing will happen. Except we get reset. So, now we're going to see these IDs with start button. It will, it will actually be better if we just renamed it into but, button underscore. Start. Yeah, and then rename this to button underscore stop. There. So they all have different names, different names. So this is button underscore start and button underscore stop for the ID names. And you can also make the background whatever color you you'd like. And it's also going to change this. 
And so you can change this to whatever you want. Uh, I'll, I'll choose default. Default looks like this. And you can do this. Um, this one looks really cool. And you can choose this one if you want to. And yeah, so like if you want like really cool, uh, like uh, theme, and then you can choose that. Playtime. Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, I'm going to stick with default like this because uh, you can change it whatever you want. It's your choice. You can, uh, I recommend you use default. It looks, it looks normal. Like it's not really bad, but you can choose all of them. And, and yeah. So I'm going to put this website in the description below. But as you can see, it says code.org, studio.code.org slash projects. And you're going to have to sign in. So just sign in with Google and create an account if you don't have one. And yeah, the link is in the description below. So yeah, so now you see this code button right here. You go to code and you'll see this. So you can do text and then go here and say, hi, my but so it won't work out, but um, so okay, so now let's start. So you can also do uh, right here, it says variable start time, and see, look, it also changes normal. So if you go to show blocks and do variable. Uh, so I'm going to go here and actually start to type this time. I'm going to type now. So var means variable. And then what you write start time is what the thing you use to start the time. And if you go, if you press the box, it will turn into a variable, which you can just do this and then write start time in it so it's your choice and so blocks are much easier you had to type less but finding them could be a little tricky so in the second variable you write is running so in is running doesn't mean like it's running away or something like that it means like press run you see right here is running that's the like variable word for that and false because it's not so then you press on event on ui controls on event that does this so id is button underscore underscore start and button underscore why we put that there because remember when in design design the id's button underscore start so that's the button for it and i'm gonna use this way because it's kind of easier to do it and then yeah so so what we had so this is click and then function so and then in here we rewrite we write event and then that's how that is uh, and then on the fourth line, you write if, and then um, parenthesis, then this, then the exclamation mark is running, and then make this a. Uh, it's kind of hard to locate on your keyboard. Uh, this thing, I forgot what it's called right here. No, it's not a parenthesis. It's something weird. Well, it's like a, it's a weird shaped bracket. So you get that and then enter. And then you write is running. Make sure like to not put a space and then make it capital. That's very important. Um, space equals, then you write true. 
true should be blue. Anyway, should it false and button start and click should all be um, a shade of blue. And then you uh, call in, enter, start time here, and then equals get time, get time. This is a command for this seconds. They will locate any zero that's here to turn into actually a real number. But if you, you're gonna have to write way more code. So by now, if you're using blocks, it should turn into this. And it, it's just, it's easier to use blocks, but blocks don't have all kinds of codes. So you do uh, make these. So if you see the start time here, right here, start time equals get time this and then call in again uh make this no make this call in again and then uh so in the is if is running whatever okay so uh okay so you press enter and then you press enter again and with timed loop and then you do parentheses and then write 1000, um, which is how many milliseconds? Time loop is the variable for the seconds, for the second milliseconds. And to make one second, you need 1000 of them. So, and then you had to put uh, 1000 comma, Um, and then fun function here, and then do this and call in again. No, wait, no, that was wrong. Uh, this is my brother here, he's next over here watching me. And then what did so before he was like stop underscore button and then I made him understand that it's button underscore start. Even though he doesn't understand anything. So var is for variable that we learned over here. Like this. And then you write current time. Uh no. The time is like this. Current time equals get get time which you wrote at the beginning so var is running equal false function event start time equals get time this and now var current time equals get time um then you do parenthesis this and then this so now no wait at the end, war elapsed elapsed time for the extra time equals current time to actually start making it get to start um evac to evac uh evac of yeah. I just figured out the word. It's called activate. How did I forget that? Elapse. To, uh, you need the get time and elapse time to activate it. Yes, it is blocks. It's much easier. Press yeah. Fill blocks. Much easier. I know, but it can it can also get very tricky. I know, but just press so blocks. Oh. Yeah, fill blocks, right? Why can't I? Okay. Oh, it just messed my eye. There's so many errors that you just that you have to locks are. Okay, I'm gonna restart. Oh, um, because your fingers can hurt if you don't if you show the text. So. This is a much harder concept in doing all this.
Which is showing Okay. Text. Yeah, we're going to read it. Okay, so uh, starting with the code, we start with the variables and then go to the where it has the var stands for variable. And then you just write start time to activate it. This is the first piece of code, which is very important. Without it, it actually won't work. And you're also going to need. Yeah. And oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, um, my brother's right here. He was with me. Was, I, I, was I, watching, I just I was no, watching him the whole time. He's lying. He just came here and uh oh, need to walk, need to walk, which stands for Even two need to walk? <laughs> okay, so uh Okay, so variable stands for var and is running running is the it's not like running where like someone's actually running it's like you see, you see this run Sorry, button where run so is running and then false do you know if you did this correctly uh when you press show text the false should become blue what did you just say before you just forgot to say that and i was gonna unbox it down but i get um yeah. Okay. So. Because he didn't want me to be in the video. Yeah. Totally. So you add an on event button with the ID. Break the ID and press yeah, button yeah, underscore. Or something to break it. Start. Do you know why we put button underscore start? Because in the design, the ID of the start button is called button underscore start. So that's the ID. That's why we had to write the ID for button. And you press click, and then for a function, you write event. And then, yeah, so next, you get control variable and go to if. No, yeah. So if, and then go to mat and get a um, empty basis. Where is the empty basis? Is it not in here? Oh. Uh, you get the empty basis with the. Okay, I just put the exclamation. I just put in the exclamation. I just typed it in. And then I press show text, and then I press um show block, and then that just popped inside. Oh, yeah. I, just I already did this before, as I just showed you. It's right here. This is the one I did before. Uh, yeah. So with all this code, and this is the one I'm showing you now. I'm not copying it for real. And my brother, I also taught my brother how to do this, and he, he gave. Me, taught, I copied it. Yeah, he copied me, so that gave me an idea also, to uh, teach you how to do it. So, if I, I is guess. running, then you uh, so then you uh, yeah type is running in it. Make sure you like type is and then no space and then capital R like we did here to start time, then in running and stuff like that. You go into variables and go into the equal watch. Right here. This is the equal watt, and then you write is ru running, which equals true. It's easier if you're uh, if you're watching this video if you full screen it. It'll, it'll be kind of easier to do. I don't know if it'll be a little glitchy. I I. And then I, this I, next I, part is very important. I don't know. Um, full screen button. No, when they're watching this video, they uh, full screen this video. Oh. So we uh, write start time and then go to turtle. Go to uh, get time right here. Get time to actually get time to activate it. And then this part has to be done uh, on show text. So you see start time here. You press enter. And then show box again. This uh not nothing should be here. And then uh go get time the loop. Uh it's somewhere here. Time the loop uh, right here and miss callback and put it right here. Okay, and then you see this? Uh go to here, enter, and it should it should do that. So yeah. Okay, so 
now that we're here, now you can press show blocks again. It'll be time to loop 1,000. Like yeah, yeah, white yeah. Block. You see this white block? We need, we needed that white block. Yeah, I think it's in functions. It's very boring. Yeah, it is. That's common. Yeah, it, it's kind of the same. So this block is very important. We need it. And then why we need 1,000? 1,000 is how many milliseconds? So if you do 10, it'll go like extremely fast seconds. So 1,000 will be like normal seconds. I kind of prefer 750, that kind of like normal seconds. But uh, 1,000 is more like... Done, 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 done. One. And that, that's why I did the one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One thousand is uh, really fine, and it's really good. And I prefer it more than seven fifty. Okay. So um, now you had to go to var x equals this empty, empty loop here. And uh, I don't know why this is. Oh yeah, because uh, green doesn't go with the actually it does. So um. In here, you write current time with that weird place, and then go to control get time, and then you need uh uh no 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 you're gonna glitch out your game. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, so I had to. I had to. Yeah, 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 yeah. that, like, that I don't know if you can see it. Because, uh, this Back is like, yeah, right there. Right yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so. Uh, so you, uh, you go to, uh, you go to, uh, get variable again. And then in here you write elap, elasp, is that it? I spelled that wrong. Put in the comments if I spelled that right. Yeah, I did. Time uh, equals uh, this uh, subtract operation. <laughs> Current time. Yeah. And you also need, yeah, start time start time so it's it, it's gonna look like this uh yeah 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 okay so um then you go to ui controls you get to the um get text right here uh, where, uh, no, what you doing, boy? No, 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 it's this, this one. Yes, that. Sorry for the unconvenient. Uh, uh, oh, wait, wait, I forgot one thing really important in design. You see seconds? It says label one, right? Uh, I'm going to rename to that, um, Label seconds. Seconds. You can do time too, but I like seconds better. Looks cool. Um. So in here you write. Why oh, am I glitched out again? Okay. So there's something important, or else it won't work. For label, you need to do this. Control C, and then copy paste it to here. To here. Like this, or else it won't work. Uh, what are you doing? It's okay. Okay, so sorry about that. You go to um, plus in math. Go to plus and um, switch it with that. And write um, time this and then space then this. And then you write, um, yeah, start, start. Time. No, 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 it won't work. It won't work like that. You have to do a lapse time. Elapse. No, you have to do a lapse. Seconds, because you have seconds, not time. No. Yeah, it's different. 
No, it's no, it's same. If you use time, then, uh, oh yeah, time, I think I uh. I, I I let uh let's use time. I think time will be easier to spell because it's kind of shorter. And yeah, let's. Why did you? Why did you do that one? Choice. Control C. Control C. And then go here. Control V. Label time. Yeah, like that. And elapsed time. And then and you see this. And what do we need next? Oh, yeah. Wait, what? No, what did I do? Do not do that. Wait, I'm going to show text for a second. And then you see this? Make sure this is a little bit uh, like that. Yeah, so make sure there's two spaces here. And if you want to fix that, just go to a show text. If it's together, make sure there's one space between it. And you need to show blocks, it'll turn into this. No, no, no. That's no, what you need. You need to put a space under the set text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, you, you just need to make... You need to make sure there's a space here, too. So, wait, show text. You see this? Um, You see? You, you see this? You press enter there, and then that will happen. And then, yeah, it should. What is going on? You have to, you have to press enter. Uh, and then you press minus again. Uh, yeah. And yeah. And yeah. And yeah. And so, so, yeah, yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now we're almost done. And then, um, then, look, so if we start it, it's not going to stop. It's going to, I think it should be working. No. It doesn't work yet. Because it, yeah, it doesn't. You just have to put a few more codes in it. Up. Yeah. Few more codes in it. Up. Wait, let me see if I, we did it all correctly. I oh no, we did it. We, yeah, no, 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 we did it. We did it. Um, we we have one more variable. Uh, it's it's called um. Uh, what's it? Yeah, I have one more. Yeah, 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 it's this one. It's this one. Yeah. It, it goes here, and then here you write e last time. I don't even know if I'm spelling it. Yeah, that's right. Let me see if all of that's my right. elapsed are correct. Who in the comments if I missed one elapsed and spelled it wrong or something? Yeah. No, I don't think so. If still put it in the comments. Yeah, yeah. If I did. And then uh, in this, yeah, uh, math round, yeah, math round. We need to get a math loop. Yeah, and then uh, click click it in there, and then oh, <laughs> according to his memory, he did it wrong. No, according to my memory, I did correct. And then put that in there, and the elapsed time. And if I did that correctly, it should be correct. Out of one thousand, because then we need to convert to seconds, not milliseconds. There will be one of the all the way to 1,000, then 1,000 and one all the way to 2,000. So we want it to be one, two, three, four, like one, two, three, like that. So this is why this part is important. Yeah. So you should also put, a, I recommend putting a background. It's cool. I put an orange background. Yeah, I, I don't. No. It doesn't matter. And you know that, like, you know oh, what? And I also, uh, change this event into is running. Yeah, so, and yeah, then it'll, it'll be a little easier. And when you do button start and then click and then event in there, and yeah, is running, then is running again, then, uh, yeah, true. And then start time and then get time, and then time loop. 1000 function, uh, war current time, get time. Yeah, war elapsed time, current time minus start time. This will time wrong, is it? I feel like they always spell time wrong. I don't know, it's weird. And then elapsed time. 
Yeah, and set text label underscore time. Uh, time elapsed time. Yeah, good. So now uh, we have to carry on. So I don't. I think now it should work. Oh, why? Why is the app? The the. Hi, I'm really tiny. If you want. I'm really tiny. Yeah, and uh, I think it, it only the second should start. Yeah. Okay. We're 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 gonna have to finish the rest of the code. Okay. So we need to get an on event button right here. So UI controls on event ID. Type in callback down here, and then scroll down. No, I can't scroll down for no for some reason. And then button. What? Why? What is happening? Button underscore stop. Stop. Click function event. What is going on? Function event. Oh, I forgot some. I I forgot something. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, for this uh label time. No. Uh. You, you see this button start? Uh, I did. Uh, I messed up again. And button start, you also have to copy paste. We or else it won't work. Why is that? What is going on? No, no, that's it. True. What is going on? Okay, I'll meet you there when I um, yeah, refresh. Okay, I just refreshed and it took me back here. So I'm gonna go back to design and click on start. Oh, it's finally working now. Control C. And then you go to code, and then where, is it? where are we supposed to? Aha, right here. In, in button start, you you change it to that and press enter, and then go down to design and click this button, and then button stop. Control A, Control C, Control V, and then go to code to button stop. Control V, enter. There, good. So now all we have to do is go to variable. And write uh this. You have to get this and write is running is running false. And then and then yeah. Okay. Yeah. If the false is blue, then it then we get correct. Yeah. So now we're back here. And then, um, what do we do now? Oh yeah, we're we're almost done. Then we do uh, stop time loop, and it goes like this, and uh, we're all done. So if we press run, it should start. It should work. Oh wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, guys, I just figured out my mistake. Uh, I wrote escape time. And spelled that wrong it's a last time and now if i uh click run and press start it should work now yeah, refresh it. does it not know what a last time is spell it wrong oh oh i understand now uh guys i also figured out another elapsed time mistake for number 10, I wrote elapsed time wrong again. I don't know why I keep doing that, but it's PS. Like that. There. Now I think it should work now. So it might work for you too. I just spelled it wrong. See, look. Oh, God. It needs to be time. It needs to be time. Uh, this? Because, because that's label underscore time. That yeah, so I changed this to time. Wait a minute. 
You can do this. And then, like, just and then here, and then do control F, and then do um, time. Okay, so so now to make seconds work, we're gonna have to seconds and all the seconds we have, we're gonna make it into all the times we have, make it into seconds. Seconds. And then current time, make that into seconds. And then also elapsed time, make seconds. Current time, seconds. 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 Make sure. Seconds. Wait a minute. I messed up again. <laughs> So, God. sorry. Um, um, I just messed up again. Wow. Uh, uh, what do I do now? Okay. It's okay. So I'm just going to change everything to seconds. And that should do the trick. Even though you can just change the time to seconds and leave everything time. It really doesn't matter. I think it should still work. Look, so you see label time. It's, it's going to stay time. Or else it, it won't work. See, look, it, it stayed seconds and we fixed the problem. And now it's when, when we press stop and it stops and we press start, it's going to restart like this. See, so that pretty much wraps it up for today. And yeah, so. Ready? Three. Okay, we're going to race. My brother just got his Chromebook. Um, he. Yeah, we. We paused the video and got it. Yeah. It's right here. Yeah. He, uh, I, I just helped him code exactly what I did here. He caught. No, 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 hmm. He's lying. Okay, ready? So, um, see, so look. So, so this is my brother here, and then this is his Chromebook. I know they only saw it. They did. How do we make this thing bigger? It doesn't get bigger. It just moves. Okay. Okay. Run. Ready? Okay. Just run. Okay. Ready? Three, two. Ready? Three, two. Wait, 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 wait. Three. Okay, ready? Okay, let's run it. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, mine is faster. No, this is it. Oh, yeah, I just started mine before you. No, it's the same. They want to cheat. No. I totally didn't cheat. You did cheat! Haha, <laughs> I'm one second ahead. Wait. You're heading me now? No, it's, it's exactly the same. No, my 
Yeah, mine is like one millisecond ahead of you. No, mine, mine is like one second ahead of you. Mine is like there, like right after me. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. I don't even know what I did. Okay. Uh, guys, uh, you know what happened? You see my seconds? I forgot to tell you one thing. Uh, okay, so. Uh, really? Okay, well, I'll chat. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Okay. Oh, we, we, we both started at 125. We both stopped at 125. Yeah, uh, this one will easily move. Uh, you can barely even see. So. Uh, okay, so you go to design. And you see this thing. You have to make that more wider. And just make it infinite, okay? So, make it like 300. No. 200? Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's just make it go here and then make this much longer. Yeah, okay. So that wraps it up for today. And I hope to see you later and next time.